I'm Professor Deborah Smith, nursing and allied health librarian at the College of DuPage. Today, I'm going to read several poems from Nikki Giovanni. She's a talented American poet and writer. She was the first recipient of the Rosa Parks Woman of Courage Award. In 2007, Ms. Giovanni published a collection of poems called Acolytes. And within that work, she spoke of the positive support, affirmation, and freedom that she found within her library and with the support of her librarian. So the poems that I'm going to read today are a library and a poem for my librarian, Mrs. Long. A library for Kelly Martin. A library is a place to be free, to be in space, to be in cave times, to be a cook, to be a crook to be in love, to be unhappy, to be quick and smart, to be contained and cautious, to surf the rainbow, to sail the dreams, to be blue, to be jazz, to be wonderful, to be you, a place to be, yeah, to be. A poem for my librarian, Mrs. Long. You never know what troubled little girl needs a book. At a time when there was not TV before 3 p.m. And on Sunday, none until five o'clock. We sat on the front porches watching the JFG sign go on and off, greeting the neighbors, discussion the political situation, congratulating the preacher on his sermon. There was always the radio, which brought us songs from WLAC in Nashville and what we would now call easy listening or smooth jazz. But when I listened late at night with my portable that I was so proud of, tucked under my pillow, I heard Nat King Cole and Matt Dennis, June Christie and Ella Fitzgerald, and sometimes Sarah Vaughn sing Black Coffee, which I now drink. It was just called music. There was a bookstore uptown on Gay Street, which I visited and inhaled that wonderful odor of new books. Even today, I read hardcover as a preference, paperback only as a last resort. And up the hill on Vine Street, the main black corridor, sat our Carnegie Library. Mrs. Long, always glad to see you. The stereoscope always ready to show you far away places to dream about. Mrs. Long asking, what are you looking for today? When I wanted Leaves of Grass or Alfred North Whitehead, she would go to the big library uptown. And I now know hat in hand to ask to borrow so that I might borrow. Probably they said something humiliating since Southern whites like to humiliate Southern blacks. But she nonetheless brought the books back and I held them to my chest close to my heart. And I happily skipped back to grandmother's house where I would sit on the front porch in a gray glider and dream of a world far away. I loved the world where I was. I was safe and warm and grandmother gave me neck kissed when I was on my way to bed, but there was a world somewhere out there. And Mrs. Long opened that wardrobe, but no lions or witches scared me. I went through knowing there would be spring. 